Hey guys, welcome back to another Starfield video. In today's video, I will show you how to get literally the best ship in the game. That term has been used very loosely lately, but this is the pinnacle, right? It's a level 72 Valentine. Now, how do you get a level 72 Valentine? Quite easily, to be honest. If you haven't seen my other video on how to rig the RNG, please do it. It will give you an in-depth detail of how I uh, find all the best ships. So essentially, I my hide sorry hygiene system is the way to go for me because it's level 75 now note one thing though even though i'm playing on very hard difficulty new game plus 10 it does not impact the outcome at all right you can do this on normal difficulty it's the system level that matters right anyway so what you want to come across is the valentine is that really annoying guy that sings right so first step is you want to make sure you're right behind him because he is level 72 right and he will melt you like this guy will hit hard so we gotta make sure that hey a we are prepared for it and we can just keep up with him and always stay behind him so we just don't get one tapped <laughs> essentially all right now without further ado let's do it we want to take those shields out without destroying him it's a lot weapon uh, sorry it's a lot easier if you run em weapons i don't i just run particles so it's up to you how you want to tackle it but i find this works best for me right we'll just stay on his tail turrets and now we go manual and now we just dock see how hard it hits <laughs> almost killed me there <clears throat> we should end up with like a minimal bounty too so essentially this ship will be for free right okay we're in so for the purpose of this, we'll be using this gun here. Yeah, let's see how many people we need to kill. Even the crew is like low level, so this is a walk in the park. Alright. Hit leeches there. Right, three more to go. Okay, uh, we got two more to go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You're fine with these guys, alright. Okay, shot him in the bum. And oh, I got there. Okay, cool. I think now we are good to go. So let's see what spoils we got here. Oh yeah. Legendary. Not bad. Um so that's one there. 3k credits. And another thousand credits. But the real price here is this bad boy. So it's already got some maxed out, um, uh, I think they're alpha beams, so let's see what we got. <laughs> Holy crap. That's 600k almost. This is an absolute monster. Absolute monster, right? Plus reactor. Very, very good shields. Very, very good graph drive. Auto alpha beams. I'm running on my ship, right? Really solid. The ghost guns, I'm not a huge fan. Missiles, not a huge fan, but holy moly, like this is the most expensive ship you can get in the game. Bar none. Nothing comes close to this one, right? So this is it. This is the, the, the pinnacle of what you can get. And it's just like taking a candy from a baby, right? It is that simple. All right, so let's see this ship in action now. It looks pretty solid. I'm, I'm really sold on the way it looks. It comes with decent guns, so you don't have to spend money on it right away. So say you're starting a new game plus. You come to this system, you get yourself this ship, and then you're pretty much set for the rest of the game, right? You can you can just build on this. Um, you can just build on this, right? Um, one last look. Whopping five hundred ninety thousand credits, right? That is huge, huge, and just like taking a candy from a baby, right? 
all in a couple of minutes work. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I do appreciate your time. As always, if you, you know, enjoy the content, please don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.